Good evening, it is uh, Wednesday night. Um, just need to get some filler on the nose cone so that we can uh, get to the point where we can take the nose cone off to start making the actual part from. So, um, obviously, there's loads of little holes from the uh, expanding foam, so I need to get those filled so that we can um, actually sort of get the final shape and start making the part from it. So, that's going to be the start of what we're doing tonight. Um, we need to kind of get the point now where the nose cone can come off so that the nose cone and the bonnet can come off so that we can get these new panels mounted up on the car so that we can then get everything else back on. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to start with tonight. <music> Okay, that's it for tonight. So I've got a quick layer of filler over the foam, um, enough for me to start making some more shaping with. There's definitely some low spots that are going to need some more filler, so um, and some more general shaping. Also, I've made a decision on what I'm going to be doing with the high spot on the nose cone. Filler all set, and uh, needs a bit more work. Needs some more filler putting in to fill in some of the low spots. Um, pretty happy with how it's all looking though. It's it's helped strengthen it all up a bit as well. So. Um, Going to put some more filler in tonight just to sort out some of those low spots um, and then at the weekend I'll be starting to sand it all back. So quick look, I'm just down this seam here, it just needs some more filler just to fill in there and there's a couple of, a couple of low spots. Obviously not going to get it all first time. And then around the top, and down that side. No, I'm not too worried about going too low down the sides at the minute. The reason I'm not too worried about going down the sides at the minute is I need to get these arches at least sort of properly mocked up into a position. So I know exactly where they're going to sit, where they're going to cut into where the nose cone is and um, and go from there. So uh, I'm going to get the nose cone to a point where it's, it's nearly sort of ready. So I can then take it off, mount the arches up and then start working out what needs to be cut out of that foam and filler to then get the nose cone back on and then I can sort out the rest of it. Yeah. So I've got a load more filler on the nose cone. Um, I'm happy with how much I've got on there now. Um, obviously I'm not, it's going to need lots more work. It's going to need sanding back, feeling, sanding back, feeling, and just yeah, eventually get it so that it is exactly right. Um, but for tonight and for the stage I need to get to for the weekend, I'm happy. So a quick look over compared to how it was before. A little bit more filler in this area just to kind of smooth out that transition. Uh, load more filler down this side and, and smoothed out that join. And around this side, again, just come a little bit further down now. Just spoken to Steve Walford, um, gave me a call regarding the head that he's working on for us. Um, there's a problem with it. Um, apparently one of the valve seats is loose. He's asked me to go down and see him so we can have a chat about what we're going to do. Um, I assume this means we're going to have to get a uh, new hardened valve seat seats in. Um, don't know. We'll go and see him now, though, and find out uh, what he recommends. So, finish with Steve. Um, not that bad, actually. The valve seat is um, is it's loose, but it's it's spinning in the the head, but it's not um, it's not actually popping out. So, we're going to fit a new one um, just to sort of be safe and and get it right. Um, progress on the head is looking really good. I'm going to be a bit of delay now on that because um, Steve's away next weekend doing uh, some racing at Anglesey. 
so uh, which we may be going down to so if we are you'll see some footage of that next weekend so we'll we'll be focusing on that but um we're to be seen yet on that and um, steve's a really bad influence on me and um, he's um half got me convinced to do some other bits that we haven't planned on doing yet but we'll see and uh, we're going to go away and fry some bits up and um yeah so that could be really really exciting so anyway head is is okay we're going to get a new valve seat put in and that will be that sorted so um now it's um after lunch because i've been there that long because uh, me and steve always talk for hours when we get going um but we'll go back and start some more work on the bodywork <laughs> bonnet and nose cone off um, time to start trying to mount up these arches so give you a bit of an idea of how they go on this section is to sit on top of this rail um, but it's probably going to need cutting down to make it narrower um, so we'll see how that goes so yeah that onto there move all the stuff out of the way to get it down see how we go I think we'll do that side first though the first problem we've got on the exhaust side is actually running into the exhaust here. Now, um, there is a hole there for that to be the exhaust to pass through on the old setup. Um, I think I'm just going to cut that out entirely as um, I don't need it. And due to the modifications I'm going to make, that whole panel is probably going to go. So... We'll get rid of that. Not going to record much. This is not really much room. You're not going to be able to see much. So I'll try and show you updates as we go through and do bits. The rear arch section is now cut away, as well as the bit that was fouling down here. And this bit is going to need cutting back as well. But before that, just in here, there's that bracket which is part of the suspension system. Uh, it's a tie bar, replaces the anti-roll bar that's standard on the Sierra. That's fouling this panel. So I need to do something about that. Um, but this is about as far forward as it's gonna sit. Um, not sure how well you can see that, but it's kind of sitting over the wheel quite nicely. Need to do some more cutting or bending. The basic modifications to this side are done. Um, this front panel does need some taking out of here. I've bent the bit around the side to get it out of the way just to test it. Um, and that, that kind of fits, it, it sits about right, but I'm gonna cut some away just to give me some proper clearance. Only thing I'm not sure on is my original plan was to come down to about here with the panel so make a hole in the, the panel for the exhaust but taper it in basically to about there now i've sort of mocked it up i quite like the panel ending here and having a nice gap here that i can put some honeycomb mesh over um, and have the exhaust pointing down at the floor so i'm gonna sort of mock that up a bit better kind of getting there the only other thing i need to do is that cycle wing bracket needs for moving. Um, I've got some separate dummy struts that will fit in there um, so that we can obviously fit it without having the cycle wing brackets on, trying to you know dismantle the bodywork from the inside. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's crack on with that. So we've got the uh, the dummy strut with the wing supports out and. Um, one of those rare occasions where being organised with stuff is to your detriment. I've got replacement dummy struts without the wing supports on. They are over in that corner of the garage, completely inaccessible, in a box, full of useful kit car parts. If I hadn't tied it up, they'd have been on the workbench. Yay! I just spent far, far longer than I care to admit um, getting my way over to that box which had the useful kit car parts in to find that the dummy struts weren't in there to turn around 
and see they're on the shelf behind me. Such an idiot. You do me strut in. The last thing to do is take off that headlock bracket and we can mock up the bodywork properly. First bit of the mock up of the driver's side arch is done. So um, this is at the back. Not sure about this opening at the back here. So that's all open at the moment. Um, I'm either going to remove that opening completely and I'll just have the exhaust point down to the ground or maybe reduce it and put a grill in there or um, maybe just leave it as it is and put a grill in there. So I'm not, not sure, but it definitely needs some tidying up and obviously I'm going to have to fabricate the new top section anyway, so we'll, we'll work that out. So that's it from the front. So this is the one side then mocked up um, with the, the nose cones just kind of balanced back in place so I could start working out what needs doing. Um, the bonnet is uh, is just sort of placed in place as well but holy expletives, I absolutely love how it's looking. I'm, I'm really excited. Um, need some work, um, obviously need to make some infill down here and there's a bit of infill at the back which we already know about but uh, just that basic look I can't wait to get the other side done I think I'm about done for today um, I might pop up it pop out again a bit later but um, for now I'm hungry I haven't eaten yet today and um, I need to do some thinking so um, at the moment, I've only got the, um, the arch held on with like, two tech screws, so it's obviously not sitting quite right. But one thing that's helped me work out is that um, the way the front of the arch is at the moment is actually fouling the wheel, so you can't actually steer. Um, I can steer left, but if I try and steer right, it's it's fouling the front of the arch. So obviously that's going to be an issue. Um, so we need to work out that. It might just all need shuffling forward a little bit. It might need some tweaking on the front they're not quite sure but we'll, we'll work that out um at the moment everything is kind of just props into place and, and kind of just give me a mock-up of the look I'm, I'm pretty happy with things i just i don't want to rush and you know do things that i'm not going to be happy with long term so um rather than sort of forcing my way on today um i think i'm going to call that quits for now didn't get as much done this weekend as i wanted to but um spent more time um, dealing with engine work stuff than I expected to so you know these things happen um, I'm still much much further ahead than I ever expected to be by by this point so that's you know that's a good thing as always thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up and click subscribe to get notifications of when the next videos are coming out also you can check out some behind the scenes stuff and some car related memes on www.facebook.com forward slash duck sport cars to come in waves across the shore Oh, maybe you could fly my kite, babe Maybe you could fly my kite, babe I can hear your laughter Come in waves across the shore Oh, maybe you could fly my kite, babe